to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, is going to be another Q&A with Mick series video. This is actually the second one I've done and I'm really excited to do it. I hope you guys like my kind of festive background and I'm hoping the lighting is not crazy because man does the sun go down super early now and it's already almost three, well it's like almost four. So I'm hoping that it won't go down by the time I film this video. So I'm just going to be pulling up the questions on my iPhone um, from my previous month's video and I'll answer all those questions for you today. And if any of the questions that you have aren't asked in this video today, make sure to leave them down at the bottom of this video so I can answer them next month. So yeah, let's get started. Danny, mommy of two, asks, do you use anything to help your hair? It is so pretty. And thank you very much. Actually, I don't know, I've mentioned a couple of hair products in the past. One that I mentioned, I'll just insert a clip of it. I'm sure I have a clip recorded. But it is the Garnier Fructis Moroccan Oil Shine Oil. Oh, I love that stuff. I feel like it leaves my hair so silky and shiny. I absolutely love it, especially when I straighten my hair. My ends just feel so nice. I just absolutely love the way it makes my hair feel. So I don't know if that has everything to do with it. I also do coconut oil hair masks quite often, so that might help. And I just cut three inches off a couple of months ago, so that might be too. I don't know. Sorry if that's not a good enough answer for you. Dania Rainier, I think that's how her name is, asks, are you and Corey going to get married and have you ever done a challenge video? Now, I got tons of comments recently on my last two videos and I'm sure you guys noticed that I do have a little something on my finger. I just didn't answer any of those comments because I was waiting to do this video so that I could let you guys know that I did. I'm engaged now. I actually got engaged on November 1st, the day after Halloween. And yeah, it's really exciting. And I don't know, maybe I'll talk about more of that in a different video, but yeah, I got engaged. Yay. <laughs> so, so yeah, finally, I'm engaged now. So that's exciting. And as for have I ever done a challenge video, I don't actually think I have. So if you guys have any challenge videos you want me to do, let me know and maybe I will do them in the future. Who knows? I don't know, but I don't think I ever have done a challenge video. So that might be something I'll have to do in the future. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this name right either, but it's Bulbob9 asks, why does he sign rather than the words and who taught him that? And I guess um, in one, of, maybe in my last video, I must have had Caden showing some of his sign language. I believe I did. Um, and he actually uses words way more than he signs now, but before he knew words, we actually taught him some sign language basically just to help with mealtime. We taught him eat, we taught him more and we taught him all done were the first three signs that we taught him just because before he could actually speak and say those words it helped him communicate to us with eating if he wanted more it was all done or if he was hungry um, but now that he can talk a lot more he rarely signs like sometimes he'll sign but he'll say all done at the same time or he'll say more and it actually helped a lot with teaching him his manners to understand please and thank you because I think that's a lot harder to of a concept to explain so I was like kind of I don't know I just thought it would be easier to explain like before you get something you have to say please and then when you like after you have to say thank you and now it's just automatic and he always is like please 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 thank you <laughs> it wasn't that we were trying to get him to do that rather than talk it was just before he could talk and now he rarely signs unless you ask him to say this. Katie XOXOXO asks if we were to have a little girl now, what would be some of our name ideas or the names that we like? And honestly, I just don't know. I've never had a girl. I haven't really thought about girl names. We never discussed girl names because we knew we were having a boy. And even if I did have one, I don't know if I'd want to say it online because we didn't even announce Caden's name until after he was born. And I think I'd want to stick with that um, when we have our second child or if we even have a girl. So I'm sorry I couldn't give you a better enough answer, but we really never even discussed it. So I don't know. Coastal Mummy asks, how long did it take for Caden to catch on to signing and how old was he? We actually started teaching him sign language when he was one and he caught on within three days. I think giving him a motion to do because he understood those words, he just couldn't say them at that age, um, gave him like he knew what to do. It gave him something to say to us because we'd always said it, but he didn't, he couldn't say it back. I hope I'm explaining that right. And I think with him being one, it was a lot faster for him to catch on because he already understood what we were saying, but couldn't talk to us. If you understand, I, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense in what I say, but yeah, so he was one and it only took him about three days for the first sign. And then I think a week for 
I think it took a week for eat and then a week for um, more but for please and thank you it did take a little bit longer because that's a harder concept to teach a one-year-old I think that took about a month but I can't be positive. Cheryl Hubner asked, does your son know how to do sign language? And as I've talked about earlier in this video, yes, he does. He doesn't use it as much anymore, but he definitely still remembers how to do it. Cassandra LaBella wanted to know why Caden's dad is never in the videos. And does he not want to be on them or does it just not happen? And honestly, this is my thing and it's not my boyfriend's thing. So yeah, I guess he just doesn't really want to be on it. And it's it's more my hobby and not his. So I don't really make him come on my videos at all. <laughs> so I also got two questions on my Facebook because I did post a status saying I was going to be filming this video. So Tiffany Rose asked, if you're planning on having another child, when do you plan on trying? And honestly, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see what's in the cards for us. I, we just don't, I, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. <laughs> that's that's how I'm going to answer that. And Tamara Krentz asked, what's a typical day look like for you guys? Do you get bored? And if you do, what are some things you might do to fill up the day? So I don't know. I feel like I'm quite busy during the day. I am always have stuff to clean up, to be honest. Like, as you can see in the background there, there, there. <laughs> um... I have Sam and Caden's trains on the floor, so I feel like I do, I'm always cleaning. Always cleaning. Having a one-year-old, there's always going to be stuff to do like that. But I try not to just submerge myself with cleaning. I do try and do things that I like to do. Um, in the morning, I usually get up and I'll have my coffee and Caden will have his breakfast and I'll catch up on some of my YouTube friends' videos. Um, also, I love to do crafts with him. Anything craft-related, I love to do drawing and spend time doing that. And I don't know, I'm just, I feel like I'm always busy, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Does that make sense? Like the whole day passed away and I, I was busy, but I feel like I did nothing. Well, that's all the questions for this month's Q&A. And make sure, as I said in the beginning of this video, if any of your questions were not answered in this video, leave them in the comment section below of this video and I will make sure that I answer them next month. I hope I answered them to the best and thank you very much for watching my video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.